For your vegan chickpea burgers, we are going to need two tins of chickpeas and one tin of tomatoes. One slice of bread that we're going to make into breadcrumbs. If you don't have bread, you could just use a tablespoon of flour, that will do the same job. Some fresh parsley, dried oregano, and half an onion. If you've got garlic, you can put garlic in it or any other seasonings that you've got. You could also add an egg to help bind it, but this is not necessary to keep it vegan. We have then got our salad. You can do whatever salad prep that you would like, but we're gonna have a little side salad with it. And then we are going to make some potato wedges or sweet potato wedges. So whatever you would prefer, either potatoes, sweet potatoes, and then you'll just need some olive oil, salt and pepper. So the first thing we're going to do for our burgers is we're going to make the actual patty bits because then they can go in the fridge and they can rest whilst we're doing everything else for as long as we need. So we're going to, we've got our onion, we've, I've taken the skin off and I've just taken the ends off and I'm just going to cut it into about three pieces and put it into my food processor. I've then got one clove of garlic, I'm going to cut both ends off really carefully. And a little trick, sometimes it can be quite hard to peel. If you place it down, put your knife over the top and very carefully, just put some pressure on top, it's really easy to peel. Good little tip. Cut it in half and I'm going to add it in here. I'm then going to add half of my parsley. And I can just put this in. And everything in here so far is what I'd like to be blended completely. So there'll be little chunks of onion, but it's going to be blended lots. When we add the chickpeas and the sweet corn, we still want there to be loves in there. So they've got a texture, a burger-like texture. So the first thing we're going to do is whiz up our onion, garlic and parsley. And I'm also going to add my slice of bread in as well, just so I've got some breadcrumbs. If you don't have, you can use gluten-free bread, if you don't have any bread, when you add the chickpeas in, you can just add a tablespoon of flour. I have whizzed all this up to quite a fine consistency. You can still see all the lovely colours as well. And then I'm going to put that into my mixing bowl. And I'm going to add, all I've done is drained and washed the chickpeas and the sweet corn. I just put it over a saucepan just because there'll still be moisture that might leak out. And then I'm going to add them in to my food processor. I'm going to have to do it in two lots. But that's okay. And then I'm just going to whiz these up literally for a few seconds. You could just even mash it with your fork. It doesn't need to be too much. So it's still got consistency and still got that like, texture. I'm going to say I'm then going to add my mixture, so my blended chickpeas and sweet corn, all into the bowl. And then I'm going to season my mixture. So it's already got the onion and the garlic and the parsley. I'm then going to add some of the dried oregano. I've just got some other little spices. You might like to add in some chilies at this stage. And then some salt and some pepper. My salt shaker's broken. So a pinch of salt and some pepper as well. So it should be all nice and seasoned and then you can mix it all together. Now this is where you need to check and see if it starts coming together. It is looking good. There's lots of lovely smells as well. And then I would say see what you think. I probably am still going to add a tablespoon of flour but you don't need to. Your mixture looks like a fine consistency. And then what we're going to do, that looks better, is I've got a baking tray just with some flour on it. And this is the fun bit, you can get all your family involved in this. Oh, let me show you the mixture inside. 
and then you can just take a handful, squeeze it together and then just make it into a burger shape and when you're happy with the burger shape you can just put it down and then one side put flour, turn it over and then the other side has got flour on as well and then they're going to go into the fridge when they're all done. So our patties are ready to go into the fridge and I am ready to clean up the mess and carry on. Okay, next we're going to prep our potato wedges or our chips, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to use two like jacket type potatoes and then some sweet potato as well. And I'm just going to cut them up, so cut bits off the end and then cut them roughly the same size and shape. I'm leaving the skin on. It's completely up to you what you'd like to do. And I'm gonna make mine into sort of like, sort of like centimeter square chip shapes. And then I'm just gonna put them into my saucepan because we're going to cook them before we actually cook them in the oven. So I have got the sweet potatoes and the normal potatoes on the hob. I'm going to allow the water to boil and then I'll cook them for 10 minutes after it started boiling. After they have been cooking like this for 10 minutes, we are ready to drain them. Leave them to steam dry in a colander. So these are cooled, they're steam dried and then I have just mixed in a tablespoon of oil and then some oregano, some salt and some pepper and just mix it all up so they're completely covered. And then I'm going to put all of these onto a baking tray and then into the oven at 180 degrees for about 40 minutes so they're nice and crispy. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare the salad. I'm going to do this straight onto both of our plates but you could do it in a bigger bowl so that you've got a sort of side salad for people to choose themselves. Please make sure that you've washed your salad. And also, if you do it straight onto the plate, you can choose what people like in their salad. So I'm going to take some lettuce. With baby jam lettuce like this, you could just leave them like this, but I quite like them finely chopped up. So be really careful every time you're chopping, be really careful of your fingers. And slice up your lettuce. And then you're ready to plate it. I might actually do a little bit more because I like quite a lot of salad. And then you can literally add whatever you'd like. Pepper is quite a good thing to add. I can't find any pepper at the moment. So that's okay. So I'm going to add lettuce, cucumber, tomatoes and celery. And I'm just going to chop... Chop it all up, being really careful of my fingers, and then plate it up. I look forward to seeing your own take on your vegan burgers. And if you've never had a vegan burger before, they're definitely something that's good to try. There's lots of other things you can put in them, like lentils, other sorts of beans. I quite like a chickpea burger. So your salad prep shouldn't take you too long. I know it looks like I'm only putting stuff on one thing, but I prefer salad. I'd rather have more salad and less of some. The other things... And then I'm just going to finish both of them off with some spring onions. With spring onions, just make sure 
that you peel them enough so if you've got any leaves that don't look right or that you don't want to eat make sure you've peeled them off before you chop them this is actually like an extra large one so then just chop the ends off if it is an extra large one i tend to slice it in half first before i slice it and then add it to your salad not this video on that Now, if you've made your salad early, like I have, you can just put it in the fridge and um, maybe you've got like cling film or you've got something to cover it. So it's in the fridge and then you can just get it out when you are ready. To We're now ready to cook the chickpea burgers. So I'm gonna take them out of the fridge, heat up my pan and put a tablespoon of oil in it. And we are ready to cook the burgers. The burgers are out of the fridge and I'm just heating up my oil in the pan and I've also got a plate ready to put them on after they are cooked. So I have put my chickpea burgers into the pan. They are cooking away. I'm going to start by cooking them for five minutes on each side so they get lots of colour. I've then cleaned my baking tray so that I can put them on here afterwards and just finish them off in the oven. So I've just flipped these over and I'm going to cook them for another five minutes. So they have been cooked on each side and I'm now just going to finish them off for 10 minutes in the oven to make sure they're cooked all the way through. After 10 minutes in the oven, check that your chickpea burgers are cooked all the way through and you are then ready to plate up. So you've got your salad that you prepared earlier. You can then get your chickpea burgers onto the plate. You could put them in a bun. You could layer them up however you'd like and then you have got your wedges or chips as well to go with them and hopefully you've got a delicious meal that your family are going to enjoy. Well done if you've cooked a dinner for your family again. I'm sure they really appreciate it. Please send me any pictures of your vegan burgers or if you made meat burgers, whatever you made, please send me a picture. I hope you had lots of fun, enjoyed learning a new skill and keep safe. I'll see you soon.